Bon GM Sam fam, good morning. Welcome to the vlog. Today, Bree has arranged for us to go on an adventure. So we're strapping it onto the car right now. This thing is huge. We're going for a ride. We are on our kayaking adventure, almost, almost. We're in the water. Get started on a kayak adventure. I think this place is called Wailua River, Wailua River, so. I thought it was kind of like this like nice like kayaking thing up to this river, to this waterfall, but come to find out, um, remember we haven't done a lot of research. So it's like a 45 minute hike, a kayak, followed by a 45 minute hike to get to the waterfall, which we do want to, but remember I got some blisters on my feet yesterday? That was not ideal. And you can't kayak all the way up to the waterfall. So you have to walk. So we'll kind of have to see how this goes. But we are, we don't, tip. don't tip us, Derek. <laughs> no, I've got my phone. I mean, we're going back into that. That's incredible. Here we come, jungle. Yesterday we explored the canyon on foot in the mountains. Today we get to do it by river. How does that sound? Exploring the jungle via this beautiful beast. This, this giant. Do you love it already? Where's the motor? <laughs> where do you, where do you, where's the start button? Are you ready for 45 minutes of this? Where's the start button? <laughs> we finished the first part of the kayak. They said it would take about 45 minutes and it did. So it's like this little landing area where everyone just drops their kayaks and then this is where the hike starts and you hike up to the waterfall. I wore my tennis shoes today to help uh, with my blisters, but we'll see how this goes. So, you know, apparently when we're in Kauai, we're adventurous and we hike every day. It's a little bit different because kayak. when you have the kids, you obviously can only do certain things. Yes. Now there are things, there are, we do like to kayak, you know, we do like to go to Bear Lake and do those things, but yeah, it's a little harder with the kids. And time, this is what you're here to do. This is the trail. Over the tree stumps. The guy that we rented the kayaks from was like, oh, it's a well-marked trail. Well I'm learning, with rocks and tree stumps I'm learning and what a well-marked trail in Kauai means is maybe a little bit different than I thought that it meant, I love it. but it is quite the adventure, so I'm not complaining. Also, I forgot till just right now, he did say we have to cross two rivers to get there. This is river one. It is pretty far across and I don't know how deep it is. Are we gonna be swimming across? Okay, I'm in the river. It is not deep at all. It's about to my knees. Look at this. There's only one animal that makes a footprint this shape. And look, you got one, two, three with the heel cusp right here. One of them was running into the trees over here. The other one is running this way. Oh. Jumped over these, did a bio 540 flip into the brush to hide. I think they're playing hide and seek. I think the T-Rexes and the Velociraptors. Are this way. This is, this is the trail. Yeah. This is the trail. You can tell. We're hot on the trail of a velociraptor. Are we playing hide and seek with the <sighs> velociraptors or are they playing with us? I'm getting closer. They said it's like a mile hike, so it's actually not a long hike, but since it's so muddy and rocky, I feel like it's, been, it's a slow going hike, that's for sure. Yes, the trail is very clearly marked. See, the trail goes this way. <laughs> where's, the, where's the rod? It's just, oh no, it is. Nope. Oh, it's, just, it's just that. Somebody could take that and put it's, it anywhere. And then we wouldn't know where to Trail go. that way. This, way. this way looks a little bit treacherous though. Look at this. Oh. Next river crossing. This one's just like a little creek. But. Oh, so cool. Let's walk up there a little bit. Up through it to the waterfalls. Let's do it. 
this is it. This is the waterfall. This is the, water this is the secret, secret waterfall. This is could... our secret waterfall. Yes. This is not it, but this is just a pretty little place that we had to stop by and see. We found a little water slide. Just try it, Derek. Sit down on the rock and go slide down into the river. I think it's a water slide. It's definitely that. That's what it was made for. It's fine, just set it down. I can't believe he's really doing it. I was kind of joking, but you know, one in Kauai. Go for it, water slide it out. <laughs> it worked really good. Nailed it. Crushed it. I guess it wasn't meant to be. Someone just stopped us and said, this doesn't even compare to what we're about to see. So I'm excited about that. But both people that we've talked to about the waterfall have said that it's very cold. So, I like hearing that. We just caught a glimpse. That is awesome. It's incredible. That's so much higher. That's so much bigger than I thought it was going to be. Uh-huh. It's a huge waterfall. Oh my god. Like, this is a... Waterfall. Wow. The crazy thing is the wind coming at us from the water is yeah. so powerful. It's from the water. Like, yeah. It's not windy. It's the water hitting it. It's going over. back to Bree's favorite spot. It's, 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 it's this vertical wall of rocks here. Oh, that was so amazing. We were just, just talking about how sometimes life gets a little bit monotonous, you know? Day in, day out, same thing over and over. And doing stuff like this just makes you, makes you feel what, Bree? Alive. Makes you feel alive. Oh, look at this lighting. It was so, it was so cold back behind there. And the water like, as it was coming down and just blowing into your face. It was like sealing your air. Like you couldn't I was like, breathe. Like I was, honestly, I was trying to calm myself from hyperventilating. It, <laughs> it was, was so awesome. It makes it sound bad, but it was so cool. Definitely worth it. Definitely worth the trip. Absolutely amazing. Back on the trail, heading back. Oh my gosh, my hands are still <laughs> icy. It was surprising how cold the water was. Oh, so cold. That was one thing that was not as not expected but it also was combined with the wind the wind the power from the waterfall made you feel frigid that's for sure now we're up back on the muddy rocky path but i feel like whenever you're going somewhere it feels like it takes forever because you don't know you haven't been on the path before you don't know how long it's going to take you don't know what to expect I always feel like going back feels quicker. This is so much faster. So just absolutely incredibly. <sighs> the waterfall wasn't the only thing taking our breath away. It's Bree's beautiful face. Take my breath away. 
Okay, we just crossed the last river. Almost back to the kayaks. This was already cut because they kind of clear the path a little bit. We did not take this down, but we did pick it up and look at the size of that leaf. That is huge. Oh my goodness. The jungle. I can fan you. There you go. There you go. I need to remind everybody we did not pick that no, leaf. It's literally sitting right there. Mm, that's cool. We just made it back to the kayaks and we're back in the sun finally, which after that freezing waterfall feels really good. Yet? I'm trying. I mean, mostly I'm warmed up except for my hands still are a little bit chilly. Anyway, so we got a kayak back that way. We loaded the kayak back up and now we are going to eating a four hour old oh my Subway gosh, sandwich. Derek is so gross. He literally, we, he got a foot long sandwich at Subway and he only ate half of it and now he's eating the other half. It's been sitting it in the car the whole time we were on that hike and kayak adventure. It's only like 85, 90 degrees in here. It's fine. I'm just it's been saying, keeping it if, warm. If you get sick, this is on you. This is 100% on you. We are just heading back to turn this in. It's like kind of weird. Like, so you rented it. It actually was very convenient. It says, bring me a kayak or rent me a kayak, something like this is how we got the kayaks. And you don't, it's not with, a, it wasn't with a tour group or anything. It was just ourselves. And then you go pick it up. They load it onto your car and then, oh my gosh, you're so weird about your beard. But then you just go drop it off. There's nobody there. We just drop it off. We lock it up and then that's it. So it was very convenient. They live on the honor system here. They definitely are living on the honor system. So we'll just drop the kayaks back off and then we'll head back to the resort. Actually, I think we're going to stop at a grocery store and try to find a couple of things because it's, this is like not a very, um, developed place. I don't really know how to say it, but it's not like there's restaurants on every corner. There's not a grocery store on every corner. There's not a ton of food options. They keep it that way on purse. Which on purpose. is great. Awesome. Yeah. So we've they kind of Subway. like needed a few little things to eat or snacks and there's so now that we're kind of like on this end of the island, we're driving past a grocery store, so we're going to grab a couple of things. Cuz last night when we went to dinner, there was one place open. And that was the one place that everybody was at. We're back down on the beach and we tried this little hot dog shop tonight that was right across the street from the, not, the not turtles. Just, not just any hot dog. They're Hawaiian dogs. What are they called? What's this place called? Puka, Puka dogs. dogs. Puka dogs. Oh, it's really bright. We don't have our sunglasses. We didn't bring them because last night we were like, oh, it, we put them on and then the sun set so fast, but Maybe we're here a little earlier oh, tonight look, than that's They're so cute. They're like, they're not real buns. They just have holes in the middle. Oh, um, that's cute. So we're sitting here watching the turtles. There's nine of them here right now. Oh, we're hoping a few more come. And we're just going to sit and enjoy this warm. I feel like the sun is just heating, warming up my soul. As is this hot dog. Mm -hmm. Good day. The sun's going down. There's a turtle right over here somewhere. It'll pop oh, its head up. Where is he? There he is, right there. He's coming over to get some food on the rocks. See him? There goes the sun. We got cleaned up from our beachy day back at the room. We've we been, those. we got these. We haven't tried them yet. Open that package up. It's a toffee, chocolate covered toffee macadamia nut. You have to, you have to kind of splurge with the food where you're at. Mm -hmm. We want to try local this. local favorites. Yes. You can get it open. But while he struggles with that, I want to talk about today. It was like the water, I decided that there's definitely some perks to not knowing what your trip is going to be like. Cause people had told us like a couple of friends had been like, do this, do this, do this. And we just were like, okay, we didn't get online and do research and be like, okay, well, what is this thing that they said we should do? We just got on and booked the things they said we should do. So like walking up to the waterfall today was just such a unexpected experience that it just was, it, it, it just was amazing. It literally was taking my breath away. 
the wind from the waterfall. And Derek was, was watching. Insane. Derek was watching some of the footage back from the, from the GoPro, and it was like. <laughs> it was a horizontal rain. Yeah. Like it was just. And just it was right crazy. Into faces. So but it was cool. also so invigorating, yeah. right? Yeah. Yep. And then just yeah. ending like contrasting that with like sitting by the beach watching the turtles come mm. in just so magical peaceful. and peaceful it's just been so special so here's to hoping that these Speaking macadamia of, nuts are just as cheers magical magical oh the toffee makes it really hard to bite i think you just gotta pop these right in don't you think yeah, yeah you don't you don't dip you your don't, toes you, mm -mm. Don't, you don't bite you these go all or nothing Mm. These are good. Okay, you get this row, I get all those rows. <laughs> so tomorrow we are hiking, we're doing another waterfall hike, right? More blisters. More blisters. Well, actually, the, my feet did not bother me. I don't think we should, the blisters on my feet are pretty did bad. I don't think we've the showed blisters? them. They're pretty bad. We showed them, but they were like, they look worse now. But they've had some time. Let's show them. But... I'll show them. But today in my tennis shoes, they didn't really bother me. But on the beach and the sand, they actually do really hurt. So it's kind of hard to get around, which is a bummer since that happened literally on the first day. Okay, this one's the biggest one. And it's just like, all oh, oh, it's very sore. So that doesn't feel, you know, the best my feet have ever felt. But I'm hoping that tomorrow, since we're hiking again, I'll be able to wear the tennis shoes and they won't hurt. But we're hiking the Nepali coastline. So, which is... Most lots of people see you can see it by boat, you can go um, or by helicopter. And we just had our friends that said that it was fun to hike, and we enjoy like this opportunity to get outside. So we're gonna hike it, and it's about two miles in, and then it's a two mile hike. We don't really know. Like I said, we're Water not adventure. really something about two miles. There's potentially a waterfall, potentially some beaches you can get to. You know? That's what makes it fun. We don't... We'll see. We'll see tomorrow. It's just going to be a surprise. Yes. So Join us in the surprise. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with us today. Be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye. Bye.